guys welcome back to a brand new video on the calvin southern state channel today we are in the san francisco bay area and we are going to be well, going what are you to watching Green ruby Park skate park this used to be my old local you're watching the best youtuber ever calvin southern, southern state. state it's gonna be super cool to finally be i'm guessing you're subscribed huh park about two or three years later Good girl. but without further ado i'll see you guys when keep we watching to see you then <laughs> sticker pretty dang sick nice i like skate sticker but yeah we're gonna slap it right here on the ramp right here you ready we're gonna slap it right here hey i like skate let's go all right now that we got this beautiful i like skate sticker slapped right there now we can get right into the video with the first trick which is a staple so the first trick is pretty simple. It's a very simple trick for everyone to learn. It's called a staple gun. So you go fakie, take your front foot off while your back foot is still on the board and your board is fully on the deck. Then you just pull it back with your back foot, put your front foot on, boom, you've done staple gun. And you can do it regular as well. That one's a fun trick to learn. All right, so I can kind of do this trick. Uh, I can do fakie staple guns, but I cannot do them in regular. So uh, we're gonna try to learn staple gun in regular. So without further ado, let's get it. Yeah.
scary trick. I don't really like it, but uh, you know, it's a fun trick to learn, so I guess I'll just have to get better at it in the future. But now let's get on to the second trick, which JD calls a mopper. I call this one the mopper, but so it's pretty much a sweeper, but you put your foot underneath the board like that and jump in, jump in like this. Boom. It's a it's a difficult trick, but once you figure it out, you got it every try. You got it. Woo! All right. Moppers look like they're going to be really scary. Basically, it's just a sweeper with his like a back foot plant. You go like that, but with a mopper, you got to put it like here and then like go in. And uh, that's sketchy, like really sketchy. So, uh, I'm gonna put on a helmet and some knee pipes for this one because I'm not in the mood to die. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start trying this trick. Alright, we got our helmet, we got our knee pads on. Without further ado, let's start trying this trick. Alright, first we're gonna do a sweeper, just warm up, and then we'll start trying them off. So, let's get it. So then after that, this one is pretty weird. I actually learned it at the Fremont Skate Park. I was playing game of skate against someone and they're like, oh, my trick is a boneless body barrel. So that's what I'm gonna show you. It's where you do a front side boneless, but then last second you turn your board so that you're into a stale fish and you come back in regular. Let me show you. So I got it.
Now this trick, very easy for all of you to learn. It is called the river dance. So you do a tail stall, have two feet like this, jump to the tail, and then when you're coming back in, you jump fully on. And let me show you how to do one. Tail stall, tail, back in. Or you could even do a no stall. I don't know why I tried that, but yeah. All right, just to start off with it, to get this trick kind of flowing in my brain, we're gonna do it on like this road around here, you know, where it's not huge, not huge risk factor. So basically what has to happen is you have to like be in a tail stall like this, then you gotta go back and you gotta go like that. But as you have it like here, you gotta like jump on your board. So it's a little bit like the, what, the mopper? A little bit like the mopper, like how you have to jump on your board as it's going on the ramp. Uh, but I guess we start trying it. Right. You know what? It's not going to stick to the right. Let's just let's be a little bit adventurous. Let's just send it from the top. Like that one horrible TikTok song. We gotta do two to make it true, so let's get the second one right here. But I call it the boneless invert. It's a little bit more advanced trick, but it is definitely one worth learning. <laughs> oh. All right, that was the fifth trick, a boneless invert. This is gonna be a lot harder because of two reasons. One, it's just a tricky trick in general, but Reason number two, my ramp is pretty narrow. It's not 
that wide, and uh, that means I don't have a whole lot of room to do this trick in. So, uh, we're gonna try to push past and do it anyway. But, let's start trying this trick, let's get it. Alright, for this trick, I'm gonna have to like do a boneless, which, I mean, that's a trick that I've had for like multiple years now, so. big spin out I know you got it so make look all right well that is five new tricks learned on the mini ramp thank you so much JD for the ideas to do the trick in the braille video thank you so much for that uh, it was a fun they were fun tricks to learn so thank you but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you know when I post a new video on this channel Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yo! Ideas at this point, so pillow.